Hey everybody, good morning, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Friday Morning Model Cars and Coffee. I don't know how exciting it'll be, but we'll look at some models and talk models and maybe even show a couple things from the past. So anyway, first up here, first let's get the old coffee cup out of the way here got the old vintage coffee cup little town just outside of Spokane Ritzville that station's long gone like all the other old cool gas stations anyway this first thing here uh, the AMT 67 I believe it was Chevelle uh, this is an interesting build because it was lost for a while I totally forgot about this model and a few years ago I was unpacking some stuff after we'd lived here for probably 15 years and I found this darn thing in a box and I had to stare at it and look at it for a while to even remember building it so it, it's a pretty old build probably from mm, early 90s mid 90s Probably not too long after that kit came out. Whenever that was, I lose track of time. When you get older, you start losing track. So anyway, it's a it's a neat color. I have no clue what color it is, uh, but it looks good on this. I did the interior, kind of the same color like they did back in the day. They had the interior kind of match the exterior. Which I love that. Just get away from the basic black. But that's a great body style. Pink turned out pretty good. Considering I don't remember painting it or what color it is. I don't think I color sanded it. I think I just rubbed the crap out of it. Probably with wax I was using in my detail shop back then. Because I didn't know about Novus or any of this other stuff. It looks like the hood's a little darker too. Got metallic though, that's a pain to paint. Let's check out the motor here. Did I say it again? The engine. Dang, I gotta quit doing that. The engine is the old big, big block. I love the big block Chevy motors. And you know, no uh, wiring or nothing, just some paint detail. Try to do a nice clean build. Spin around here and get another shot of the interior. Looks like I did a pretty good job for not remembering anything. Put the Kragers on it. Gotta have the Kragers. Love them wheels. And let's take a little peek at the chassis here, real quick. Yeah, I got the little undercoat look there. Uh, I didn't really do the frame, the solid color, a little bit on the Suspension though, front and rear, but neat old kit of a good looking car. Yeah, anyway, that's that one. And next up here, let's see what we have. Okay, let's switch to uh, Mopar stuff here. This that uh, monogram Roadrunner kit that came out. Uh, I think it's a first issue where it was orange on the box pretty plain type box art but I had it for years and I finally built it oh, probably two years ago one of the ones I paint at the end of the summer so I have some bills to do during the winter so probably two winters ago maybe but really nice kit went together great Interior came out pretty good. Like the orange on white. Did some little chrome uh, detail in there. I noticed when I did it, I didn't do the. I got the chrome on the headrest and I was going to do it on the seats to hide that seam and I forgot. So, what are you going to do? But there's interior black carpet, black dash. Kind of how they did it back then. And if 
factory stripe. I just put some different wheels and tires on it. Let's check out the engine in this one. It just sounds cool when you say motor though, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's see if we can get this thing off here. There you go. All stock, the big block. Yeah, love the old Mopars. Again, no wiring. That's how you can tell it's a pretty recent build because I haven't wired much in a while. But again, it's a really nice kit. Goes together great. Take a look at the chassis here. Got the old MPC tires, wide ovals that have been around forever. Did the undercoat thing like I like to do. So it's got a little bit of a pop to it when you look at it. Turned out pretty good. Yeah. So let's see, look at that. I missed the seam right there. Can't believe I did that. Yeah, missed it on that side too. Huh. Don't be a son of a gun. Again, what are you gonna do? Neat model, lots of fun. Put the little Mopar sticker in it there. Uh, probably gonna focus on something that small. But fun build, neat kit. And one last one here. Another Mopar. That 68, 9, whatever year that Ravel Monogram Charger was that came out. Uh, I couldn't find the box. I can't remember exactly the year. I can't tell by looking. I'm not a Mopar guy. With this one, I changed out the wheels and tires. Kind of going for that 70s uh, street machine look. Got the traction bars there. Yellow like the Lakewood. Everybody wanted a pair of those on their car back in the day. Mm -mm. Got the Hemi license plate on it. And this one is kind of a gray, dark gray interior. So again, I was trying to get away from the black, be kind of different. Pistol grip shifter in there. And this paint turned out pretty good. A little heavy on the metal flake, but that, that new uh, lacquer paint and tester, that's what it does, but it still looks pretty good back a little bit uh, wheels and tires I had those forever and I put them on here they were a set otaki or, or otaka or something like that does that ring a bell to any of you guys I I can't remember but I, I had two sets of them I put them on this and on a 39 coupe that monogram did but they're just so 70s looking ET slotted mag look I just they just fit with this car perfect and in real life, you can get huge meats on these. So they fit just right. Let's take a look at the engine. See, I'm two for two. Look at that. But there it is, the Hemi. Again, just paint detailing. A few decals in there. Try to make it look nice and clean. A little bare metal foil. Uh... Uh, this is a great kit. I could not believe how easy and smooth this kit went together. Totally blew me away. I'm going to spin it around later so I don't knock the mirror off. I mean, look at that body style, man. That's just one cool car. Nice, clean. And back in the day, I don't know if anybody remembers or is old enough, I'm sure there's a few out there. You had to paint your rear axle white. It just looked cool when you did that. Front axle, I, not so much, but it looked cool on this. Give it a little little pop to it. But back in the day, you'd... Anyway, I forgot to touch up on the mirror there. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. I should look at these more close before I film, because I get to looking at it and thinking of what I missed and what I, should, and I shouldn't have done. But when you, you know, you're coming down the road behind the old street machine and that the white rear axle and the leaf springs, that was just uh, the coolest thing back in the mid-70s when I was around doing this. So that's what I was going for there. 
So anyway, neat kit. A lot of fun. Some good old muscle cars showed up for this weekend or for this Friday's uh, model cars and coffee. I'm gonna throw a couple vintage things in here because I love the old vintage stuff and I thought we'd reminisce a little bit. I'll probably do this again in a couple days because I just love this old stuff. But look at that, the old uh, Ed Big Daddy Roth custom enamel. Uh, guy here in town that has a vintage toy store had these. I think I paid three bucks a piece for him or something. He's a friend of mine, so I got a pretty good deal. And then this here uh, used to come with your model kit. AMT plastic water body filler putty. Yeah, it's probably not any good anymore. Let's squeeze it a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty hard in there. Anyway, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you that. I really love doing going down memory lane once in a while. And they had neat stuff back in the day. A lot of fun. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in for this every Friday. It's a lot of fun. Kind of see what shows up. Get an idea what uh, what's going on around here anyway. Set that bad boy back up there. But thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. It's it's going good. I really appreciate it. Lots of comments. Uh, people telling stories of if I pull if I'm showing something and they remember the guy or the car or the model and telling me stuff and that I don't know or that I forgot. So it, it's pretty cool. I really appreciate all the comments, everybody. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. And I really do appreciate it, guys. I really do. And uh, we're going to do this again next Friday. And we'll see what shows up then. Maybe some kind of weird stuff might show up next week. We'll just have to wait and see. So with that... I'm out of here. Everybody have a safe week. Uh, I'll probably talk to you again in a few days with uh, something going on. We'll figure it out. Uh, what I'm going to start building and what I'm doing. And I'm going to go check out what you guys are doing now. So we'll talk at you later. And everybody take care. Bye.